So I posted a video and I had a very interesting question from one of the commenters. So the video was concerning, um, God is saying, let the hurt go. It's time to let the hurt go. Um, many people, if you go back and watch it, it's called, um, it's time to heal. Uh, so God is saying that many people are praying and asking for him to literally take away the hurt. When God's saying some of you need to just let it go, you know, and he's, he also said that he's trying to get something to you, but he first wants what you already have that pain. He wants you to let it go. So it's not that he's, you're not allowing him to heal as much as you're asking him to heal. I hope that makes sense. So some people are asking him to heal, but you're not allowing him to heal. You, you're saying it maybe with your mouth and you're praying it, but you have to then surrender that pain to God. And so she asked me a question. She said, okay, well then what does that look like? What does letting go look like? And I gave her an example that um, was pr very practical for me. So I remember I used to struggle with unforgiveness. And I remember there was an incident that happened that really, really convicted me. This incident was very different prior to the previous incidents where somebody would do something and then I would harbor unforgiveness toward them. But this particular incident was different. Like, I didn't want to be mad. I felt convicted about harboring the unforgiveness. And so then I prayed about it. So I said, God, I don't want to be mad. I don't want to, you know, be upset and angry at this person about this situation. And when I prayed the prayer, God responded to me immediately. And he said, anything that you feed will live. And he said, don't bring it up again. And so in essence, what he's saying is, the more you keep rehearsing it in your mind, the more you keep playing it over and over, the more you f you're feeding it. And so he was saying, stop rehearsing it, release it. And then I would pray the prayer. I was like, okay, now God, you take the broken pieces of me and put me back together again. Get every part of me back from those past relationships where those people hurt me, where I may still be emotionally tied to that person. Give my heart, get my heart back and bring all of those pieces back to me. That's literally what you, I, I said, that's what you had to say. Give me every part of me back from those past relationships, from that childhood trauma. Because in essence, that's what's happening. There are, there are pieces of you that are still in that situation. There are pieces of you that are still with that guy and in that relationship or in that trauma, in that abuse. And you have to pray, God, give it back sanctify it purify it and give all of me back and that's when god will literally begin to put you back together 